Hello everyone, I am Galuf Black Mage, and welcome to my first attempt at doing a Let's Play. As you can see, it is a Flash game on Newgrounds.com, and as you can also probably tell from the background, unless you're unfamiliar with the series, it is a Mega Man X fan game. And this might seem like an odd choice for a Let's Play. And I was going to explain why I'm doing this, but I'll just put that in the video description so you don't have to listen to me babble on about that if you don't want to. Besides, it'd be better to actually play the game instead of wasting two minutes of the video just talking about why I'm playing it. Mission start! X, this is Alien. Do you read me? Loud and clear. We've tracked Dynamo to somewhere within the vicinity of this town. He's not getting away this time. Quick reminder, X, you can use the arrow keys to move and the space bar to jump. You can also access your equipment, change formations, and use items in the main menu. Press the backspace key, or delete key on Max, to bring it up. Got it. Let's do this. I've updated your objectives. Go get them. Find and capture diamond. And this little blue box-looking thing here is what all items look like before you pick them up with the A key. And after you pick them up, we got a first aid kit. They look like nothing! They have no picture. They do have a description over here in the corner. Restore a small percentage of HPs. A small percentage indeed. And this is our main menu, but I'll show that in a little while. We have to jump to our death. Our, our not death. To move on. You'll be able to jump farther if you're on top of the boxes. Remember to use the space bar to jump. Which you just told us on the last screen. Oh no, I fell. As you can see, no HP lost or anything. Just places us back here. This game's pretty forgiving about falling into bottomless pits. Do you guys hear that? I heard something. What is it? I think it's an ultra high frequency burst, but I'm not sure. What's it contain? It's encrypted. I don't know. Judging by the intensity of the signal, it has to be close. Let's go. Let's go investigate that annoying noise! And what's going on over here? What are you doing? I am malfunctioning! Rawr! No, stop! Hold on, we're coming to save you! And I suppose I could take this time to explain what you are seeing. We have our HP down at numbers here, and like in the Mega Man games, we also have it in a gauge right here. I believe he called these tech points. They're basically your MP in this game. You can see it in numbers if you actually go into the techniques menu. Right here. And this little percentage up here is the character's aggro rating. It's how likely that character is to get attacked by the enemy compared to the other two characters. The higher the number, the more likely they are. If you look close in Axel's gauge over here, you can see a color orange right here. The the more the gauge fills up with green, the closer the character is to that turn, and behind that, it could be empty, or you could see orange like that. And the brighter color orange it is, the closer that character is to their limit break, one really powerful attack they can use, after which they have to fill back up again. When you get a limit break, it replaces your techniques menu, so you can't use any until you use up your limit break. And that's about it. Other than that, standard RPG stuff. It's turn-based. You've got magic, healing, buffs, and attacks, and different elements and weaknesses. Oh yeah, you, all the characters do have a saber attack and a buster attack, and the enemies can be weak or strong against either of those. And now that I've finished explaining that, let's just kill things. Machines! You didn't die. And what? Nah, I'm not gonna waste any of you. Victory! Level up for everyone! And broken wiring, how useful. Are you okay? You almost had your head taken off. Y yes thank you for the timely rescue. Who are you, and what are you doing up here? My serial number is PTR-14. I'm a security reploid assigned to this town. I often patrol the rooftops for the best vantage point. 
Well, you're doing a real bang-up job. This is the first time that's ever happened. The Reploids that attacked are low-functioning machines. They're not equipped with the ability to think. So they just went berserk all of a sudden? It must have been because of that UHF burst. It's possible. The Reploids in this area were designed solely to scrub radioactive fallout and reconstruct the town. But they do operate under a shared radio frequency. If something were to disrupt that, I suppose it could alter their behavior. I'm not equipped with a UHF receiver, so I didn't sense anything. You said something about radioactive fallout? Was there an attack here? Is that why this city is deserted? You don't recognize this area? This is one of the cities affected by Sigma's nuclear strike. Are you referring to the Day of Sigma? That, uh, thing that happened in that Mega Man X remake for the PSP, which I never played? Yes, Ground Zero was about 40 miles north of here. This town, like all of the surrounding cities, were evacuated due to radioactive fallout caused by the bombs. But that was years ago! Nuclear fallout takes a long time to successfully eliminate. Most of the city has been scrubbed, but it's still substantially hazardous. Listen, we're on the hunt for a maverick named Dynamo. We know he's here. Have you seen him? Dynamo? I don't know of any specific Reploid with that name. However, there is a Reploid that has been here on several occasions. He's never had a problem with the human population here, so I've never had to detain him. I thought you said the city was hazardous. What are people still doing here? It was evacuated, like I said, but the homeless and criminal population seek refuge here. It's the perfect place to hide, if you think about it. Well, if it weren't toxic and increasingly dangerous. So where does this Reploid go when he's here? He often stays at the abandoned factory straight ahead from here. Then that's where we're going. Wait, let me go with you. I've been there several times. I can guide you. No. I'm sorry, but we're hunting a fugitive, and you'll just get in our way. No, wait. I won't get in your way. I can be very useful in battle. Yeah, buddy, you looked real useful in battle back there. Please reconsider. I can be very useful. All right, fine. But stay close. I will. I won't be able to fight at your side, but I can still assist you in battle as your support. Do you know how support works on the battlefield? Need a refresh course? Sure. Make it quick. During battle, you'll see a support bar near the center of the screen. Top center of the screen. It automatically fills during battle. Once it's completely filled, the support bar will be primed and ready to go whenever you need it. All you have to do is hit the appropriate button. In this case, it will be the number key, 4. All support characters have different abilities. Keep that in mind when you select them. You can go to formations in the menu to assign or unassign a support character. And now, we find a way into the factory. Wait, from here, there's two ways into the factory. If we go down, we'll hit the city streets and enter through the ground level. Dynamo won't be able to sneak out without running into us. If we head upward, we can enter through the roof. There'll be less resistance, but I don't think we'll be able to stop whatever's affecting the Reploids in the area. So, roof or ground level? Hmm... What shall we do? You know what I forgot to mention? And I should have mentioned at the start of this video? I'm uploading a playthrough of this that I did before, without commentary, so if you guys want to see this game but you don't want to hear me talk anymore, you can watch that. You can also watch a couple parts of it to see different routes, like, I took the top route, I think, I hope, in those videos, so this time I'm gonna take the bottom route. And we have another item right here. Grip Parts A. That is an accessory, I believe, so we'll go to Equipment, and, yeah, I'm pretty sure... Yes, a melee weapon attachment increases agility and power. Power only affects saber attacks, and since Zero is better set up for saber attacks right now, he should get the grip parts. And I can start explaining some things in this menu now, probably a good idea. We have... if I could go back, there we go. We have character stats, which for the most part I actually didn't pay too much attention to. Although, if you look, you will notice that Axel is better set up Oh, X is better set up for healing now. Maybe he changed it, because I think Axel had the highest rating before. Is Axel still the best thief? Oh yeah, by far. Oh good, he upped the steal rate a lot, so it should be easier to steal later. That's good. He does make changes to this game, which is nice. He makes some he fixes bugs and typos and all that. Which is another thing I like about the, about this game. And yeah. 
can look at your items and your skills, equipment, and battle chips. This is this game's magic system. You equip different battle chips. They all give different abilities. They also have a command that they give you in battle. And you can, yeah, you can give whatever character, whatever chips you want, and put points towards whatever skills you want. So it's fully customizable magic. And we're kind of starting to run out of time, so I'm gonna stop this video, and when we come back, I'll explain just a little bit more, and then we'll get moving again. See ya!